Welcome back to Face to Face. I'm John Ralston. Phil Ruffin is back on the strip at the TI, and he's here on Face to Face today. The whole financing structure of what's going on in the strip has changed. Uh, one gaming analyst uh, told investors recently that a multiple of 10 times to 12 times cash flow is what it normally takes to buy a strip resort. Uh, CB R R Richard Ellis, Executive Vice President John Knott, who oversees the company's global gaming group, disagreed with that. He said the recent sale of the Treasure Island by MJ Mirage to former New Frontier owner Phil Ruffin for $775 million dollars disputes that notion. Not said the transaction was valued at about seven times cash flow. The multiples are going down because cash flows are starting uh, to go to go down. Not said historically, strip assets have sold at 10 or 12 times. As I said, the Treasure Island deal reflects the change in the market. Uh, is, is it an ephemeral change? Is this a change that's going to stay for a while? What do you think? Well, we thought seven, seven and a half, eight times cash flow was probably a good number, and it's going to do that. It's probably going to do that. But uh, uh, I don't think you can buy a good property for five or six times cash flow. I know some of the companies have come in and tried to do that, but nobody's going to sell at that price. So, uh, uh, you know, 10 to 12 is normally where it goes, and even higher. But, you know, where else are you going to get 20 acres right on the strip? And you said, though, we were talking before the program, that the business is actually better than you thought it was going well, to be. Well, January, February, and March were horrible. Yeah, but it looks like April is flattening out as, as it's going to track pretty close to 08, which was a very good year. Th that's amazing when you, when you think yeah, about it, that, considering the state of the economy. I mean, yeah. is this one of the glimmers of hope that President Obama talked <laughs> about, or is it an aberration? What do you think? I've got brand new rooms. Kirk just spent, and Jim Mern just spent $84 million redoing all my rooms. So, I, I, you know, I have a big advantage because a lot of these other hotels don't have the capital to, to, to redo their rooms, and they're having a hell of a time making their debt service. But I've got that done, so I don't have much capital to, to lay out. Uh, I, guess, I guess the question is, how many guys are there like out there, like Phil Ruffin, who have the ability uh, to buy a, a casino on a strip. One guy who might, maybe he does, is Steve Wynn. And I, he came on the program, and, and, and I asked him if he was interested in, in buying back the Bellagio for MGM Mirage. Here's what, here's what Mr. Wynn had to say. Well, I guess it depends upon price. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, we're in the business of buying and selling things uh, with, our, with our assets, whether it's our own debt or our own stock, buying and selling, depending on price. We are in a position to be helpful to people on the Strip who perhaps would be better served uh, by, you know, unbundling, Mirage. I think the unbundling of Bellagio, is a, uh, of the Mirage company, is a good idea. Now, you seem to think the Mirage is not for sale. You, you think MGM Mirage is not interested in unloading any more of its assets on, on, in Las Vegas? If they need the cash, they'll unload it. Don't they need yeah. cash? Well, they just got refinanced on City Center, I understand. And uh, so I know they've got a couple of properties up for sale, but I don't think that the strip assets are for sale right now. If they would, they'd be a big number, probably. Uh, would it be a number you'd be interested in? What, what if they told you the Mirage for sale was for sale? Wouldn't that be something you'd be... I mean, it would make sense for you, wouldn't it? It would make, it would make sense, but we wouldn't be able to get the financing, John, right now. The, you know, we, so uh, it would be a couple years down the road if you were yeah, even able to do it, you I think? I think that's right. The banks have to loosen up. Banks are getting all this TARP money, but they're not lending. Horrible situation. Why know. is that happening? I mean, you're you're you're. I don't an know if you can borrow man. if you can borrow for zero like they're borrowing and get seven or eight percent. That's not bad because they're borrowing for nothing, but they're not lending, and I don't know why. But I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the, for, in layman's terms, because I don't understand this high finance like like you might. This tarp money comes into these banks and then it just stops. It doesn't go out. Why is it not coming out? They bought other banks with it. They did. You know, they did other things with it. They didn't lend. You know, they're not lending right now. So we're you know it's it's just. Don't you have to there. lend money to make money? Isn't that how the I mean, I'm not a banker. Isn't that how it works? I would love to own a bank that didn't have any hard ass, uh, tarp assets or any of that bad assets on their books. Because I think you can. This is a great time to own a bank. You can make a lot of money if you don't have any of this toxic stuff. Right. Because you, you know, can borrow for zero. Well, let's talk about the, the strip and about room rates, because I know, I know you've had some strong feelings about, about that. They're at the lowest levels uh, in, in years. Here's what you said to, to the RJ last month, Mr. Ruffin. The room rate is the mother's milk of the business. Uh, that is free money if you can get the room rate up. He said Treasure Island rooms are fetching as much as $100 on weeknights, $130 on weekends. Of that, he estimated cost of about $30 per day to clean a room, $18 to $20 for third-party vendors, plus cost for utilities and other overhead. They are too damn low, he said, of Las Vegas room 
crime rates in general. Uh, I had a, a, a person who was w in, lives in Washington with a political organization come into town. And I, met, I met with her, her this week. She's staying at the Bellagio for $120 a night. That, that's just unheard of. It's unheard of. You know, you, you go to the other cities, you pay two, two, three, four hundred dollars a night. Chicago, New York, L.A. Uh, this is cra these rooms are crazy. And uh, we do need to get them up because, you know. But then, you, then people who are, who are cash strapped might not come. It's a very difficult balancing act, isn't uh, it? Yeah, but we don't want them. If, you know, oh, was that right? You know, if, 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 they, if they can't afford $100, $125, $130, then that's somebody else's customer, you know, so, because you don't need to be 100% all the time. And, uh, you know, we have a lot to offer. And it's a two, it's a, the, product, the, the hotel itself would cost about $2 billion to replace today. I know that as a fact because I just went through it. So, uh, uh, you know, these are rates that you get in the Fairfield hotels. We have four Fairfield hotels. We get better rates there. But, no, we're not going to give our rooms away, and I would hope some of the other operators would wake up and quit giving their rooms away. Well, what you just said, I want to make sure I understand this. You just said you paid $775 million for a $2 billion asset? Well, it actually <laughs> would cost, to build 3,000 rooms, would cost $2.7 billion plus the dirt. Because I just went through, as you might remember, with the Montreux that I was going to build. Right, right. And, you know, that, but the numbers didn't make sense to me, so I backed out of that deal. These numbers but, made sense. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. All right, when we come back with Phil Ruffin, we're going to talk about the state of the industry, the state of the economy. If he's worried about those crazy legislators doing anything, back in a moment. Face to Face with John Ralston, a program presented in partnership with the Las Vegas Sun, Cox Communications, and KLAS-TV.